Hi everyone, it's New Jersey Garden. I wanted to do a quick video on ladies mantle. This is a perennial flower. It has these really big green leaves and it actually looks really nice after it's rained because the raindrops seem to just stay on the plant making it kind of sparkle. I have it right next to a cat mint. I, um, the, the flowers are like a really chartreuse color yellow and this plant is mostly grown for the leaf um, leaf structure more than the flowers. The flowers are a little bit um, they're interesting but they're a little plain so it's really just more of a um, you know leafy leafy plant um, that I put in here a few years ago. I have a few of them in this bed and I wanted to show you the catmint is in full bloom. This is Walker's Low variety catmint. It's it gets really big and bushy. I have to trim it down a couple times during the season. And the bumblebees love this plant. This is Walker Slow, Walker's Low Catmint. And then over here I have some poppies. There's a couple different varieties of poppies. This one I believe is a Princess Victoria Louise. I'll show that when it's in bloom. And then this is lavender. That's going to be blooming soon as well. This is another lady's mantle that I had transplanted. It does better in um, an area that has partial shade. This is soapwort. It's a perennial flower that is a pretty profuse bloomer. I did another video on this the other day. It's in full bloom right now. So I have a garden bed over here full of Ladies mantle, poppies. Um, I have a little catmint. This is another um, little catmint plant here. And the lavender. And then these, um, these ones are called blanket flower. I'll show a video of those when they're in bloom. These ones get eaten by this bug called a plant bug. They get little holes in the leaves. And then they only last about the bug seems to go away after a month and the leaves, you know, recover, so it's not too damaging. It's a little red and black bug. So, um, actually this is not catmint, this is called calamint. It's a white, it looks like catmint, it's like a white mint plant in the mint family. 